Hey everyone, it's Jenna with Happy Plans. Thanks for hanging out with me for this special video. Today I'm going to be sharing a flip through of what I have done so far in my undated Vertical World Denise Planner. So if you'd like to see what I've done, then stick around. <music> Hey Chappy fam, it's Jen with Chappy Plans. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend. And I just wanted to share what I've done so far and kind of give you some ideas if you haven't been watching my Plan With Me videos. And also some of the content that's in here, I don't film, so I figured I would just share it all in one video. Um, so I got this undated planner in the beginning of June, middle of June. I backdated it and worked on it and just kind of tried to get used to it before I started filming um, and had to kind of get into my own groove and see, you know, do I want to film the month at a glance and the week all in one video? Do I want to film special pages? Like all that kind of stuff. So this is um, me playing around. I hadn't filmed any of this, but you get your month at a glance on one side, which is a game changer because it never goes away it just stays open so that your weeklies just flip and you can constantly see your month at a glance and I used this the most almost more than my weekly in my catch-all disc bound planner which is what I've been using for like I don't know four years three years um consistently but um so what I do is you know I've got my dates um, you can use a number of things. You can use stickers to date this. You can write it in yourself. You can use stamps, whatever you want. And it's totally customizable in that way. And I absolutely love being able to change that up. Um, so you'll see here, I did a Monday to Sunday start to match my weeks. I didn't like that because I'm so used to a Sunday to Saturday. Um, but for June, I, I stuck with it and I tried to see if I liked it. So um, obviously you can see the color scheme here is red and green. I used a bunch of stickers from Robin's Planning Nest. Um, she has a great rep team, so definitely check her out and see what codes you can use to save on your purchases with her. Um, but definitely went with a strawberry theme. I did some stamping here, used lots of washi, and some of my regular size boxes I just flipped vertically so that they would fit in these little one-inch margins. Um... So in this part, I'm just using the top part for the dates. The bottom part is for social media. And this was my ongoing to-do list. Flipping to the second week of June, you can see I used, so I switched up the way I was stamping my numbers. I love these stamps. These are from Heidi Swap. I hand lettered in the days of the week. And then these are some really old Alicia Michelle XO stickers, like three years old. I still have a ton. Um, so I used those. And then sticking with my color scheme for my key, the red, um, I use my clean color dot markers every week and um, mild liners almost every week. So those are linked to my Amazon storefront if you're interested. But um, anyhow, I indicated things that I needed to do in red that Nora had going on in green, and then my husband was black. And then gray is always like a family thing for all of us. And again, I still have social media down here at the bottom. This week I'm using different um, number stamps from Heidi Swap, and I used different days of the week stamps. This is the first time I stamped in the days of the week. I think these are from American Crafts. I have my key up here. And then these stickers are from Amuse Designs, Plan With M. They, they no longer have a um, Etsy shop, but I still have stickers from the shop. So I wanted to use them. And to match the stickers, I have coordinating colors, right? So I've got my pink, yellow, and then black was my husband, but he didn't really have anything. And then as always, gray is for everyone. And then social media is still on the bottom. Um, I highlighted some things this week that were exciting that we did, and I like the way that that looks. Uh, I highlighted the number here. I, in this case, I wrote everything in myself, um, and I highlighted this because it is a holiday. It was Juneteenth, and it was a very busy week, as you can see. Um, these stickers are from JoJo Apple Prints, and again, social media goes across the bottom. And the last week of June, going into July, I used some Heidi Swap stamps. Actually, no. I think the, these stamps are Allie Edwards, the frames. I could be wrong. 
um some old happy planner numbers i started to put doodle in the weather which i liked but i forgot as the week went on um and then these are stickers from caitlin plans and then this was um in the back this is an insert and they're reinforced which is awesome so they don't rip when you pull them out they just snap right in really easily to the coil here and this is what i was using to track my social media and then on the back i had the calendar that i drew in myself and that was how i kept track of posting and rep team responsibilities then i had a section for like notes for trying different things for next month and then i had a brain dump back here ideas for content and then i did my highlights for the month of june that i doodled in myself so we got um our car detailed nora and i got haircuts i got my hair dyed i got more highlights added um my husband went to his friend's birthday party we had our last pta meeting field day at school father's day we went on a hike and had um dinosaur barbecue for dinner which is my husband's favorite um, nora had our last day of second grade and i got my planner so those were all hand doodles. That was really fun. And I like having the highlights. So you can see that I kept it for July, but in this month I used stickers. Um, so unfortunately my stickers started peeling. These are really old sticker alpha stickers from Studio Calico. Um, I won this whole boba kit from Wonton and a Million, which was amazing. So I couldn't wait to use that. And I loved being able to use this washi here, which had the days of the week and they fit perfectly in these sections. Um, and then I changed it this month. So you see, I put social media at the top and then at the bottom, I was keeping track of my exercise. Um, but I also keep track of my exercise in the back of this. So you can see this tab, it's just an Avery tab. Um, I keep track of it here with my health and wellness. So I felt like it was kind of redundant. Um, but you'll see me make a change to that later on. And, um, then you know just daily things that i had going on and you can see that i started highlighting as well this week this is always my to-do list sometimes i carry it over to the day and sometimes it just lives over here um this week was this month was a mess because we all got sick um towards the end of the month and um yeah it was not it was not pleasant so <laughs> that's the first week this is the second week you can see i'm highlighting here um and then i switched it so i still have social media at the top but then at the bottom instead of exercise i'm keeping track of nora's health which was really good because this is when she started not sleeping well and looking back we didn't know what was going on it was like the worst week of sleep i was completely exhausted and like just done i was so stretched beyond my like emotional capacity to handle the night waking it was like having a newborn all week and we didn't know why because it was basically her only symptom but then if you go to this week and i'm keeping track of her symptoms she starts getting like a fever and a cough and all this stuff and we took her to the doctor the doctor said you know she didn't have covid she didn't have the flu she didn't have um strep throat so they were like, it's just a bad virus. So here's story time, okay? This is a, this is going to be chatty. Um, by the way, these stickers are from According to Allie. They're gorgeous. I love Allie stickers, and she's the only team that I represent now and um, an affiliate for as far as sticker companies. So make sure you shop the link in my description, which um, my code is Gen10 for both Laurel Denise and According to Allie. So anyway, I love that I kept track of her health because... Then I started getting sick. So I was so excited. Like I had been, you know, sleep deprived and just really looking forward to going to this PTA conference that I had registered for like a year ago. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm going to have some adult time. I'm going to get out of the house. I'm going to be, you know, like not a human bed for a whole day and then a half day. Well, I ended up getting really sick. Friday night I had um, a low grade fever and body aches. And I had been exhausted. Like looking back, I remember journaling how tired I was, but I thought, oh, I'm just tired because I haven't been sleeping because Nora's been sleeping on top of me for nights. Well, before we're approaching like the week to go, go on vacation, right? So I'm still sick. I'm really sick. I didn't go to church on Sunday. We left on a Thursday. 
So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to make an appointment. And then I started coughing over the weekend, like to the point where I was almost puking. I was coughing so hard. And these were like really violent coughing fits. And I was like, this feels like strep throat. My throat started to hurt really bad, like almost a nine out of 10 on a pain scale. So I finally made a doctor's appointment. I went on Monday and my doctor was like, yeah, you don't have COVID. You don't have strep. You probably just had what Nora had, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, can I ask you to take my blood test just to rule out mono because Nora's friend had it? And I was like, I just want to make sure that's not what it is. I'm sure it's not. And the doctor was like, I mean, sure, it's not mono, but, you know, we'll give you peace of mind because you're going on vacation. You're traveling through Canada. You know, you just want to be sure you don't have COVID. We'll do blood work. So it turns out Wednesday, I'm packing and everything, and I look at my results and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have mono. What? So, so we, so we decided, okay, so Nora obviously had mono and that's why she wasn't sleeping well. And then I was obviously experiencing symptoms of mono and I'm like, oh my gosh, can we go? I had all these preconceived notions about mono. Um, I have OCD. So any type of like health issue really freaks me out. Um, so I'm like, oh my gosh, we're not going to be able to go. What are we going to do? We're supposed to be sharing a cabin with my husband's brother and, um, his wife and their kids, and they're not going to want to be around us. And his twin brother um, has some major health issues, like he's a high, high risk. Um, so are we even going to be able to go? So I call my doctor and she's like, yes, you have mono, but it's not like an airborne thing. Like you, it's called the kissing disease for a reason, unless you're sharing food or makeup or kissing or unless you like, you know, cough into your brother's mouth, then you're not going to spread it. It's not like you sneeze and it lives in the air and then you know, somebody breathes it and they get it. And I was like, oh, I thought it was highly contagious. Like you can't even like hug someone who has it. No. And once you have it, you have it for life. So like you most likely are not going to get it again. You can have flare ups. Anyway, I'm starting to feel better. And if you go back and you've seen any of my plan with me videos, you can hear that I'm sick and I had to keep pausing the video because I was coughing. Well, I had mono and I didn't know it. So even my doctor was shocked. All that to say, go with your gut. If you feel like something's off, even if it doesn't seem like it could be a thing, just get it tested just, you know, for peace of mind, because you never know. So we ended up switching cabins. Fortunately, my husband's twin and his wife and their daughter had rented their own cabin. Um, and then um, we just switched. So they ended up st sharing the cabin with the other ones. And we had our own cabin. Anyway, Nora's much better. I still have a sore throat um, and I cough at night, but it's not anywhere what it was. And you can have symptoms with mono for like weeks. So it's kind of a crapshoot whether or not you spread it because the incubation period is anywhere from two to four weeks. So we won't even know if we spread it to my in-laws or my um, brother-in-law or Nora's cousins until like two weeks from now. So it's just, it's, it's a pain. It's, and I guess like 90% of adults have had it or been exposed to it or have antibodies to it by the time they're in their forties. So right, you might have it and you might've had it and you just didn't even know. Anyhow, all, <laughs> thank you for coming to my TED talk on my public health service announcement. Um, that is why these things are so important and why I am obsessed and I live by my planner. So this week, um, getting back into what I actually did, this was Paper Minty. No, the washi is Paper Minty Studio. The stickers are Audrey Okea. Um, this washi is Paper Person Shop. And you can see I started documenting Nora's health, but then I stopped when we left. I didn't bring my planner with me, so I didn't document in the bottom for her. Um, and my to-do list is kind of blank because I did all the to-do things on each of these days. Uh, and then on the back, we were planning, Nora had a flamingo party on the 8th. So I was planning that on this bonus page. I love that I can change up what I want to plan. I um, actually don't need that sticky note. Um, so then I switched it. Last month, my social media calendar was on the back. I decided I wanted it to be on the front. Um, and then on the back, I put my steps. And then for filming. I kept track of my purchases. I had a wish list, so I changed that up a little bit. And then my highlights for July were our friends got married. We had Nora's flamingo party. We had we saw fireworks. 
Um, I took Nordic Kids Bop. We, I had an adult brunch session with my friend. Um, we got a new game and we've been playing that a lot. We got some, tried some new takeout that was really good. Um, I got a fresh um, haircut and lighter highlights and we went glamping. So that is everything for June, July. We're in August now. So probably at the end of August, actually, no, it'd be like the end of September. Maybe I'll share like what I've done up until this point. Um, the back sections I have, like I have my year at a glance. I had a separate video on that. I have a cleaning schedule checklist, my health and wellness. So see there, I put mono, mono symptoms, and then I kept track of Nora's health back here, which I think I might do a section for Nora and a section for myself um, because I have several autoimmune illnesses as well. But um, this is kind of what it looks like. I've got my summer bucket list, which actually now I can check off that we did s'mores and we went glamping. I did read a book. We went on a road trip and we went to an amusement park. So my entire summer bucket list is complete. No, pool party. That's happening this weekend. I'll do a plan with me um, on this autumn bucket list. This is my perpetual calendar. It's not that exciting, but it helps me to then go back. I reference this when I'm planning my month at a glance here. Um, so I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about what I did or anything I mentioned. And um, I will always have a link for affiliates in my description box, like I said. So be sure to check out Allie's shop. She's got lots of amazing stickers and um, yeah, I'm just loving this planner. Laurel Denise is going to do another release for uh, the big release is coming in, I think the end of August, beginning of September. So make sure you're following Laurel Denise on YouTube and Instagram, TikTok, all the things because yeah, it's, it's going to be good. I'm super excited. Um, that's it for me for this video. Make sure you like it if you did and then subscribe so you don't miss my content and I'll see you next time. Take care friends and remember that you are enough and I love ya. Oh gosh, I hope that wasn't super crooked the whole time. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye friends.